What is up you guys, Ben German here with another Let's Play episode with Lil Germinator here and he is going to Town Hall 5 in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Happy New Year's! Nah, I'm joking around, but obviously we are the best Town Hall 5 in the world already, we just started and we have all this loot to waste on all these shits that we want and we have some collectors to collect because they haven't been collected in days because we do have a lot of loot and we'll collect that later we're gonna check out the stuff that we get we do get a pump a mind another army camp which is great and we get our spell factory final fucking lee but what really sucks is it's just a lightning spell i really want a heal spell but getting this is gonna get us one step closer to getting that heal spell and it's actually the last step because it's the next upgrade and it's the next town hall we are actually gonna get a grip of other stuff but what is most important is this wizard tower that is going to put in the works against some giants or some balloons going up against our base in war. We're going to go ahead and upgrade this laboratory up to level 3 to get those sexy as level 3 OP as fuck troops. Get rid of this tree because we do trim every now and then. And we do have a lot of coins to spend. Let's see what else we can waste these coins on. I don't know why I call them coins. Maybe because they look like coins but it's actually gold. We do have one more builder available and we're going to use that on that wizard tower for sure for sure but I think we're going to be upgrading our walls first. Yeah we're going to be upgrading our walls first with all this extra loot and we do have a little surprise in our clan castle that we'll be revealing later on and we're going to collect these gems give us 10 more of those sexy ass gems to get us towards our fourth builder which is a thousand gems and now we're going to set all of our sexy ass level 1 walls down. They're going to complement that construction thing that Jim Bob got going on there and we should at least finish like 17 18 right there and let's finish off some at the top oh shit i ran into my own shit uh fuck i'm bad at this uh there we go finish off upgrade the town hall 6 for more walls fuck use illustration on the screen i just got the town hall 5 relax man leave me alone let me do my thing and i'm actually gonna catch up all of these walls to level 4 but we're gonna waste all of our gold on it and that's sexy because everything and we don't have to worry about walls for a while i mean we're gonna get some gold walls going and we do have another builder still available because the walls are built instantaneously. There's one right there and there's one right there on that the laboratory. So we're going to use the third one on the wizard tower. And we're going to get some of our gold and elixir back by collecting all of these shit needs that we've been saving up because we've been maxed out for hours. So now we get to collect all of the booty. Boom. Bam. Bop. Bada bop. Boom. Pow. Oh! Okay, back on the serious note, we have all of these loot from just the collectors and the mines, which is great. And we do have a little surprise, as mentioned before, in our clan castle. Oh, ho, ho, protege raid, you sexy ass clan. We are 2 and 0 right now, and BOOM! We've just collected all the that loot and pretty much filled up our storages. Holy shit, those balls are looking real nice and filled up. And the storages are looking okay as well, being squares and shit. And since we did get more of the booty, we are going to use these gold to get some of our walls to gold, ironically enough. And let's see how many we can get done. They are 30,000 a piece. And hopefully we don't fuck this up and um, kind of go overboard and not have enough for our wizard towers. It goes 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's see if we can get to 5. Oh, that's easily. I think we're going to get to like 8 or 7, 6, 7. I don't know. I lost count, guys. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. But, oh shit, we fucked this up. Uh, yeah, I think it's 180. Fuck! Uh, it's, it's all good. We, uh, what am I saying? We got a fucking composition ready. We're gonna do a live attack. And we are going to fill up our gold, at least 30,000, to get our sexy ass wizard tower down on our base already, protecting our shit. And we're gonna go into the wild and find a raid and be back. So I'm back and we found a, I don't know what the fuck Tom Hall is, but he does have nice loot and he has, I mean he's unprotected, he's like a, I don't even know what the fuck to say, but I mean we're gonna fuck this guy over. And he does have a gold storage unprotected, so we're gonna drop a couple archers right there. One of them is focused on the collector, but it will direct its attention to the storage after it's done with that beach right there. And let's see what else we can get. We are searching in the wild plains of Africa like a savage tiger. And let's see what we can get. Uh, I think we found an elephant by itself and attacking. No, I'm just kidding. It's not that serious. But we are going to take out the archer tower with ease with some archers. Level 2, by the way. OP as shit. I recommend it to everybody. I mean, find somebody that can donate level 2 archers. They're the best. 
and we might as well drop one right there on that collector and we have a shit ton of goblins so we are gonna use them wisely we might use them on that gold storage uh i mean that cannon is a bitch right there because i mean i can't go right to it my archer tower because i'll get distracted by a collector or a mine so we should just spam some goblins and they should be able to easily get through that collector i mean i haven't been attacking i haven't attacked a collector this high level actually i've been attacking like level four level five not collector what the fuck storage is i always fuck this up i don't know why uh, the storage is gonna go down to those archers easily and let's see what else we can do we still have like half of our composition left I mean let's drop a couple archers on that spell factory so we can pick up the one star we're gonna pick up the two star maybe even by just taking down this tall and I mean it's out of range of the cannon so I mean what can I say he's bad at base designing or this isn't abandoned it is an abandoned base but it's all good he's giving us free loot and these archers are barely gonna get through with these gold storage after a freaking minute and a half and this elixir storage may be unprotected by the arch tower let's see yes it is unprotected because the arch tower is not in range fuck you arch tower get out of me base nah this is your base but get out of me face because i'm taking all of your shit and these goblins should easily get through this elixir storage and this cannon is gonna fuck them up but not before they get through it easily and the archers are gonna have no problem getting through that the town hall sometimes dumbass people just throw one not throw but place one archer on the town expecting it to take it out i don't understand the logic behind that the archer does not have enough firepower to take out the town all by itself but these four or five i'm not even too sure are gonna have enough firepower to take it down and that's gonna give us the one star 43 percent we're gonna drop the goblins down on these electric collectors one's gonna go down easily and the other one is gonna go down easily as well for the 52 percent two stars were achieved against this uh actually we're not gonna end the battle right there we're gonna wait for the goblins to die i don't know what the fuck's still up but we're gonna end the battle and about 200,000 in loot give or take i mean our storage is each one only holds 500,000. so i mean that's that's a pretty good rate in my opinion down here in the silver three league with a town hall five very 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 premature because we just got that bitch and we also just got a fuckload of gold, so let's check out how much that wizard cost one more time. 180,000 gold, 12 hours to make that biatch right there. And we're actually going to check out the time just to make sure it doesn't run into my sleep time. And the time right now in California is 10 a.m. on the dot, September 11th, which is not a cool day. But why the fuck do I need to go to Green Spot Road? Oh shit! iPhone Siri, you are smart as fuck. Fuck, what the fuck? I didn't know it did that. I mean, I go to the gym every day and it's on Green Spot Road and it's telling me the traffic time to get there. Uh, what the fuck? I thought it was five minute drive. Whatever. Siri, I guess you're right. Baby, back to the walls. I think we're gonna have enough to upgrade that last fall and that should just serve a great purpose because it's gonna stop those pesky giants from getting into our village. And this wizard tower is gonna get placed down. Welcome to La Familia. Just kidding. You're not welcome until you're built, bitch. I'm just kidding. 12 hours at 10 p.m. We'll see you and you are welcome into the village, built or not. It's all good. And we still do have a fuckload of elixir that we're gonna be using to upgrade a arm, not upgrade, but to make an army camp once we do have a builder available. But oh, a time management. The reason why I was looking to the 12 hour area, blah, 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 is because you gotta work your builders like Mexican guys, dead ass. I'm not even fucking around. Back to back, you gotta have them always building something so you can max out your build, your building, your village as fast as you can because that's the objective of the game. If you guys didn't you know, get the hint yet. And yeah, your research lab should also be back to back upgrading shit. And let's check out what Town Hall 6 is gonna give us another wizard tower, another mortar, and an air sweeper, a couple more spring shots, which is cool. And that's gonna wrap up today's Let's Play episode, guys. Every end marks a new beginning, and the new beginning is today's question of the day. Today's question of the day comes from Wally Man, and he asks, What do you think Supercell should change in Clash of Clans? And I'm gonna answer this with a straight out fuck the air sweepers, get those bitches out of my face. Now I'm just kidding, the air sweepers are good for balancing out the air attacks, which are pretty OP sometimes, even with the air sweepers. But I, what I would do is instead of having the two air sweepers, I would make one air sweeper, make it a hidden air sweeper, which is what I thought it'd be when it first came out. I don't know why, but in my head, I was like, oh, this is gonna be a hidden air sweeper. And when the balloons or dragons get in range, or inside the village, maybe the whole village, I don't know, the uh, air sweeper would pop up and fuck someone over or make someone dead because they're like, shit, or not shit, but fuck, yeah, we attacked from, or I attacked, or whoever's attacking, attacked from the side without the air sweeper pointing. When it is hidden, I, I mean, I think it'd be dope. It's more suspenseful 
and you're kind of just like, oh shit, like where can it be? Where, where would it be facing? And I thought that I think that'd be better than the two air sweepers. To be completely honest, I'd make a hidden one and replace the two in the game right now. And the other thing is Town Hall 11, which is the day I am dreading because I do not want Town Hall 11 to come out. Let me catch up, Supercell. Don't release Town Hall 11 until I'm maxed out to Hall 10. And I mean, I don't give a fuck about any of them. I'm just kidding. Honestly, uh, it, when it comes out, it's going to be better for me, even if I am a Town Hall 9 sub, because those Town Hall 11s are going to have more loot compared to those Town Hall 10s. I mean, I hope you guys know this, but when you attack the, a higher Town Hall, you get more loot because you are the underdog, and that's the. Uh, the prize basically you get more loot from that base and if you're a higher tall hall attacking the lower tall hall you're gonna get less loot because that's kind of overpowered and fucked up and that's a good job of superstar of doing that because imagine a tall ten taking the same amount of gold a tall hall eight would have attacking a tall hall eight i mean it just wouldn't be fair a tall hall tens would be fucking maxed everybody would be maxed out by now i'm not even sure completely honest but tall hall eleven is going to have for sure for sure and i think it's gonna come out next year but i think it's gonna have for sure for sure another hero actually not for sure for sure i'm i'm kind of debating between that but for sure there's gonna be another defense and another troop that's without a doubt i can't see tall 11 without those two and maybe another hero we'll see if that balances out because the two heroes we have right now are op as fuck as it is the queen's always coming in clutch and being a sexy beast for a lot of those style tens out there and that's gonna wrap up today's episode don't forget to like comment your question of the day below and subscribe for daily content of the clash of clans game i hope everybody has an amazing day and don't forget to come back tomorrow keep clash with ben